How's it? We are going to work with freezing frames in After Effects. And this is Spirit Week, so we're a little crazy this week. Uh, let me show you an example of what we're going to do. Um, in this case, uh, student is walking in, sitting at my uh, desk. No, 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 you did not. I walk in, and as you can see, she has a remote control. She's going to buzz that remote control, and I'm, she's going to freeze me. And then she's going to reverse me, and I'm going to slow-mo reverse. Then she's going to pause me again, and then she's going to keep uh, enjoying her time on the desk. You better not be changing your grades. And uh, then I'm going to pop out of nowhere and unfreeze me, and we're going to gang up on her. And she's in big trouble. Okay, go ahead and hit Command-N as in Nancy uh, for composition. We're going to call this Freeze and make sure it's 720 by 480 widescreen and we're going to choose 33 seconds for duration and hit OK. Then we're going to go in here and file import uh, or command I and you're going to find download the files that you need uh, for this clip and so for me I'm going to grab this uh, freeze clip right here and make sure it's in footage I'm going to hit OK and you're going to drag this to the uh, line right there so whatever the case if it's too big or too small um, just go ahead and uh, click on the clip click on the corner and click and then hold down shift key and then make sure to keep the ratio um, like so and almost got it there we go and now I'm gonna be walking in right about here I'm like hey what are you doing at my desk and then she grabs the remote now, she kind of hits the remote, and I kind of do an effect like, oh, like she did something to me. Like I felt it. So I'm going to stop it right there as I, I react. Okay, maybe up in the air just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to freeze frame this. That's how um, it looks like that I'm stopped in time is by a freeze frame. And to freeze frame, what you can do is go to composition and then save frame as. And you can do a, a different, choose your file type, or you can just do Photoshop layers. Uh, I can just do this, Photoshop layers. And then I'm gonna call that freeze, and make sure you save it in the folder um, th that your other files are located. And then you import that in, and then you just uh, command I, find the freeze, uh, import it, and go ahead and merge layers, that's fine. Uh, one creative thing you could do is like when she ch uh, hits the remote, you could like change my color of my shirt. You know, like every time she s switches it, it changes because in Photoshop you can easily change a color. You know, so there's a lot of creative things you can use with Photoshop with um, After Effects. So what you're gonna do is drag your freeze frame on top on the top layer, and as you can see, it's very big. Okay, Control click on that uh, layer. Uh, on the timeline, go to time, time stretch, uh, change the new duration to uh, 0, 04, and then hit OK. So now you can see it's much smaller. Position that on the right side of that cursor. And so now, as you can see, it's a seamless transition here um, from here. And if it's not transition, you, you might need to adjust it a little bit. So I'm like here, so maybe it's right there. You want to make sure there's not a glitch there. So now it looks smooth. Okay. So, but notice as I'm playing it, she's not moving. Um, I want her to keep moving in the video, but I'm frozen. So what you're gonna do is mask or uh, clip that out. I'm gonna go to 50% so I can see more of my the outside of my composition. I'm gonna hit G as in go, and then I'm going to click. And basically uh, just keep myself in the frame now if this happens that means you didn't select the uh, layer that you're supposed to select so what I would do is just hit um, delete hit V as in Victor uh, delete that shape layer click on that freeze frame uh, and then hit G to get our pen and now we can go ahead and click uh, and make it and that should have changed you should have seen a little bit of a change so now as we go through it notice that I'm frozen okay now uh, she hit the button one time and then the second time she hits it I'm gonna have myself reverse okay 
So I'm going to take my still frame and move it all the way down to the edge of there because that's all I need for that still frame because now I want myself to be moving again. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on this freeze clip movie, command C, command V, it's a copy and paste, a duplicate layer, uh, control click on it and hit rename. I'm going to call this reverse. Okay, so now I'm going to reverse it. Um, what you're going to do here is I'm going to hit command shift D so I can break it up so I know exactly where I am on this clip uh, and what to keep. And so um, this layer down um, up here, we don't need this layer right now, reverse two. So I'm just going to drag this down um, and then keep it down here. And I'm just going to work with reverse. Uh, and to help myself so I'm not too confused, I might want to rename this main. It's your main clip. So uh, in the reverse section, um, to reverse something, okay, all you need to do is uh, control click on that layer and go to time and then go to uh, time reverse layer. So just now it just flipped it, okay? And now if you can look, if I play it for you, Okay, notice she's going backwards and it's uh, reversed. So now I'm going to move it around so, it, so I can get exactly where I wanted it to be because this is kind of at the start. And notice uh, the ending was right here. So basically I want to match um, the ending right there. And if it doesn't match, I may need to like help it. Um, what I do to help match is I notice my hand is right here on this line. So when I go to my clip, I want to make sure that that is um, there too. So now as you can see, if I'm playing it, I'm reversed out here this way. Now, um, I'm going to slow it down, my freeze clip, um, because basically I want to freeze myself about right there. Like I want to stop myself because I still want to be in the frame. So I'm going to stop myself right about there. So go ahead and uh, you can take your footage and move it to the right. So you can you only have this little clip right here. Okay, so I'm only using that part. And I don't even need this part. So I'm going to take that part out too. Okay, so notice I'm frozen here on this. It's showing the freeze frame. And now it shows this little, like a one or two second reverse shot of me. Um, I'm going to make sure that this little reverse clip is selected and then I'm going to basically just cut myself out and then you should have seen her uh, react. So basically now I'm just keeping my reaction um, right here because I want to match it up with... Um, so after I've uh, cropped it out uh, in the, with the mask tool, I now want to... Um, Now that I've masked it out, I now want to find out uh, where the second click is. So this is where she paused me, and then she's going to look at it like, whoa, that was cool, okay? And then she's going to second click me, okay? Right, like there. So as you can see, notice that I'm like here talking to her, like it's kind of weird. Um, that's why we masked her out, like here, like um, I'm masked out and she keeps going. Because if I didn't mask myself out, I would just keep talking. Okay, now that I've masked myself out, what I want to do is find out where the second click is. So she clicked to pause me, um, then she's going to reverse me right there, the second click. Okay, now she's going to th um, third click me to stop me, like pause me right there. So what I want to do is take this little uh, marker here on the right and drag it here to the side right there. Okay, so I know exactly where that is. Now what I want to do is use this reverse shot. It's really small, but I want to use this reverse shot to do a slow motion to fill the space between the still frame right here and the click. So what I'm going to do is click on the reverse layer, control click on that, and go to time and time stretch. Okay. Now, right now it's negative 100. I could uh, maybe I'll try minus 300 and hit OK. 
and then go ahead and move that clip right to the edge of that freeze frame. And so now when I stop, so time it right, there's where she clicks it, okay? Maybe I'm gonna freeze frame this, okay? So go to composition. Um, again, you need to freeze frame when she like shows that she's uh, hitting it a third time. Same frame as, Photoshop layer is fine. And I'm gonna call this, let's see, freeze we already have, so I'm gonna call this freeze pause two. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save and make sure you save in the same place. Command I to import and go find that freeze uh, clip. And then make sure it's footage and then you're gonna go ahead and hit open, okay. And now it's in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna drag that in and go hit it right below the, um, uh, so right on top um, a reverse and below the first freeze, okay? So now uh, I think the f this freeze frame is gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, let's go with like 10 seconds and we can change it later. So control click on the second freeze frame, go to time, time stretch, and um, for the duration, instead of 33 seconds, let's put uh, 10 seconds and hit okay. So now it's much longer or shorter. I'm gonna move it right about there to the edge. Okay, and again, uh, we don't, I'm gonna hit, right now it's playing. I don't want the whole thing to be paused. I only want myself to be paused. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and make sure that layer is selected, the second freeze frame, uh, G to get the pen, and make sure you're maybe like 50% so you can see out here. And I'm basically going to um, uh, go ahead and go click and go right maybe on this the computer, right at the edge of the desk. Go click and then click off here and make sure you close it right here. So now you should have seen that move because we that part disappeared. So now when we play it, notice that she still um, can do things now. So I'm going to zoom back into uh, 100%. So we're almost done. So she's like, yeah, I froze, Mr. Heil. And so now she's like doing her own thing and back to on the computer. Now, what's happening is um, when I film this, I'm going to go ahead and hide this uh, freeze layer. What I did was um, basically I all I did was I walked out and I, I could walk out because I knew I was going to freeze frame it. Okay. So, and then as you can see, I kind of had to like um, go under this desk. So basically I'm hiding under this desk. And again, you won't see me because I'll put this back and then I'll replay it again because notice I'm freeze framed over. See, that's the cool part. So right now I'm um, hiding under this desk. And so basically I'm going to be popping out at her okay and surprising her now notice that my freeze frame disappeared so I don't I, I want to keep that up so I I need to control click on that second freeze frame go to time time stretch uh, instead of 10 seconds let's go 16 seconds hit okay okay so then I'm gonna scrub through see how it is I pop out and she's like whoa and then I snatch the controller out and I'm gonna unpause myself bam so when I have it right there, okay, it's like bam, what, right when I like go right like that, I'm gonna unfreeze myself. So go to the freeze frame and go ahead and bring that in right to that point where I, I do that motion with remote control, okay? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue my um, actions and go normal. So remember that second half of the main clip that we got rid of before? We're actually gonna use that now. So go ahead and uh, take that clip and move it now in, up one layer so it's in front of the uh, freeze clip but below the reverse. Go ahead and drag this clip over because I need to go to the part where I get unfrozen, okay? And uh, I'm gonna actually time stretch this out a little bit because I need to find the part where I get unfrozen. So remember, I'm looking for key parts. Remember this line right here? So if I, so right here, 
my hand is out and I'm looking at a point to look at. So I'm going to look at my thumb on this black chair is where I was frozen. So right here in my film, I'm going to move it, try to find that frame right about there. Okay, see how it's almost the exact same. So now when I unpause it, it comes out. I'm going to go a little bit more to the right because I was a little bit off. So when I unfreeze it, it's still a little bit off. So again, this is the hard part to match it up. Exactly. So here, so that looks like it's in one motion now. So now when I play it, looks like I'm back. Okay, so that's what I want. But we have a problem. <laughs> We're back to the original scene where she's like, whoa, she thinks she's remote control and stopping me, but she's not. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? So as you can probably imagine, it was pretty silly to film this because as I was saying, hey, what are you doing? She was like stopping me and then she'd stop me and then she'd imagine that she's stopping me. And so um, now what I have to do is, you could probably guess, I have to crop her out because I don't want her, this part of her in there. So I'm gonna use the pen tool, make sure that layer is selected. And now if I do a bad clip job, like this, okay. Now, this is what we want. I want two of myself in here. So, but as you can see, notice my hand. Uh, my hand actually gets too close to that uh, border and it crosses over and cuts it off. So if you notice, notice my hand, it gets cut off here. So I need to do a better job of uh, doing that. Um, also, I need to do a better job because as I keep playing it, I'm like, hey, come on, let's go. You're in trouble. Okay, so right here, I'm going to stop it where my my hand goes out. Okay, because I can't crop here because I'll, I'll crop myself off. So I'm going to go to 50%. I'm going to hit the um, uh, direct selection tool. And then I'm going to move it as close to my finger as I can and I may want to angle it. So I'm going to maybe bring it down like this and angle it like this. Maybe about that angle. And again, this is a tough part. You just really need to play it out. So see here, my hand is still crossing that line. So I'm still going to need to come in here maybe like that. So when you film, it's really important to plan ahead and make sure you don't cross that line. Um, and I, so now I think we're good. I don't think I crossed that line anymore. See, perfect. It's a very fine line. And then I'm gonna end it. Okay, so that's it, we're done. Um, and again, the hardest part I think is the concept, just knowing how to film it, uh, making sure that you're filming um, the correct way so that you can make your editing uh, better. So again, she walks in right here. Um, I come in, she zaps me. I use a freeze frame right here. Uh, and I crop myself, I crop her out, like she's out so that the video is still showing of her and the freeze frame is only of me. And again, if I uh, click, if I double click myself, you'll see how it was cropped out. Okay. And then I can close it to go back to the main composition in case I need to do any fine detail work. Okay. Then she clicks it again, and I did a reverse uh, clip of myself, and then she pauses me right here. She thinks she's okay, she keeps doing her thing, and then up I come out, snatch the remote, hit unpause, and I'm back out, and we both are like, hey, no, no, and we're done, okay? So that's After Effects, and challenging, but you guys are smart, you got this.